This morning for you on Daybreak, the Springfield Police Department is explaining how to better share the road with motorcyclists. And Mizzou says the number of positive COVID-19 cases on campus are going down and university stuff reaction to students not following the rules could be one reason why. Also, the Springfield Green County Health Department is trying to help some parents out with educational toolkits. We'll explain what that all entails. It's all ahead this hour for you on Daybreak. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here and starting your Monday and your week off with us. Today is September 21st. I'm Jennifer Abreu. And I'm Joe Morano. We are sitting here just getting ready for this final stretch of summer and last day and new week. Chiefs win. It's not a bad way to start off the week, right? No, yeah, it's a uh, yeah, it's a good way. I, I love these <laughs> temperatures. Mm -hmm. I think I like fall because mostly because of the temperatures. But I know our meteorologist Beth Vanella likes fall because of everything, right, Beth? Good morning. Everything, <laughs> everything. Pumpkin, pumpkin spice, <laughs> co uh, apple picking, sweater weather. Sweater weather. Yeah, I love see. sweat. I have a pumpkin sweater. And I can't wait to wear it. I think I'm going to wear it tomorrow. I think Jeremy <laughs> Rabe would appreciate that. So, I, yeah, you should probably bust that out. That's I should. True. I didn't Here's get to wear my it. pumpkin t-shirt, so yeah, I'll just wear my pumpkin sweater. It's okay. <laughs> Grab your sweaters this morning. It is chilly. If you don't want to wear a sweater, at least wear a jacket. 49 degrees right now in Springfield. It's a cool one out there. But surprisingly, we're actually warmer than we were <laughs> this time yesterday morning. 50 degrees in Rolla, 48 in West Plains, 55 in Mountain Home, and 54 in Branson. Our dew points are in the 40s and 50s. It's going to be another dry, very fall-like, comfortable day. We'll stay dry. Plenty of sunshine as you reach your weather weedies this morning. Grab the jackets. It's going to be cool through about lunchtime today before we make it back into the 70s. This afternoon, we're going to top off in the upper 70s. Maybe we'll squeak out a few 80s, especially in northern Arkansas. A cool start. Grab the jackets. Good news is no road hazards. We're not going to be looking at wet roads this morning, but we might be looking at some wet roads through the morning hours tomorrow. We'll get to that in just a few minutes as the kids head out for a dismissal. Lots of sunshine, fall feels with temperatures in the upper 70s. Grab that large, extra large iced coffee because it is your Monday morning. Plenty of sunshine, though, to start the week. Tomorrow is the first official day of fall, and that could bring some rain chances. I'll have more on that, plus tropical storm beta updates in a few minutes. Sharing the road with motorcycles may not be something drivers think about every day, but it is more important to do now. Springfield police say in the spring and fall, there are more motorcycles on the road because more bikers like to ride in these weather conditions we've been telling you about. Yet, the number of accidents remains steady each year. Some bikers in town say they've already seen a couple of friends get into accidents lately, and they say they're asking drivers to look twice and save a life. SPD also tells us how to better share the road. Take an extra second to look and see what's coming. Uh, look for pedestrians, bicycles, motorcycles. Give them the same amount of room you would a car. You might even give them more room because a motorcycle can break faster than a car can. Everybody wants to see us go home safely because this isn't just something that we do. This isn't a recreation. This is our life. I mean, this is our lifestyle. I mean, look at all of us. We live for this stuff. We have a little game now we're trying to teach children is motorcycle tickle. You see a motorcycle going down the road, you tickle your sibling. Well, the parents are helping them look for motorcycles. They're seeing motorcycles that way. SPD is also working on a new project called Share the Road, which is a motorcycle safety training program free to riders. If you want to take part, you need to sign up, but you have to have a motorcycle license and own your own bike. We've got more information about that for you on OzarksFirst.com. A 14-year-old has died after being ejected from the back of a truck. The driver, a 13-year-old boy, ran off the road and struck a tree, ejecting the 14-year-old who was riding in the bed of the truck. According to Highway Patrol, he was pronounced dead at the scene. And this is Troop D's 85th fatal crash this year alone. One person is dead and another seriously injured following a car crash in Lawrence County early yesterday morning. 42-year-old Jeffrey Holden was exiting I-44 when his vehicle went off the road, hit an embankment, and went airborne. When it hit the ground, the vehicle overturned and hit a tree. Holden was not wearing a seatbelt, was ejected, and pronounced dead at the scene. The passenger in the car was wearing a belt and not ejected. She was flown to a local hospital, though, with serious injuries. 
In COVID-19 news this morning, the University of Missouri is reporting its lowest number of active COVID-19 cases on campus since the beginning of September. 1,400 students have tested positive so far this fall, but school leaders say the cases are down nearly 75 percent since the beginning of September. Last week, Mizzou expelled two students, suspended three others, and began investigating student organizations for not following the rules. Students say the tough reaction is making them think twice about breaking those rules. I think I was surprised that they were actually acted, acted that decisively. Um, and it's definitely made me think more actively about some of my own actions and like, am I staying in line with protocol? So far this school year, more than 470 students have been referred to the Office of Student Activities for not following COVID-19 policies. As for the student organizations under investigation, 12 of the 13 are Greek life and the other is a club sport. In some education coverage, the Springfield Green County Health Department is working to help families navigate the new school year. Nigel McDonald is in studio after she looked into this. She helps, uh, ex she helps explain how this morning. Nigel. Yeah, Joel, well, good morning. The health department has created an educational toolkit for parents and students, which includes things like age appropriate ways to talk to your kids about COVID-19. This is the Springfield Green County's educational toolkit for kids. It works to show students they too can help keep their family, friends, and neighbors healthy. Part of this cool kit that I really appreciate that I'm using myself and I don't have kids is a checklist. Which helps a parent screen their child for COVID-19 symptoms every day before school. Mornings are hectic, trying to get out the door, getting your kids out the door, or preparing for a new normal day. Something Springfield mom Danielle Jeffrey says she knows all too well. For a little over three weeks in and um, they know the schedule, they know what to do. It's, it's difficult for them to you know because they're at home, they're in their own space. Jeffries has five children, four of which are learning virtually this semester. Having a toolkit with extra ideas and just extra ways to help us cope with being at home and how to stay positive, I think is very beneficial. I think any help from anywhere is beneficial. Jeffrey says it's been tough keeping her kids away from their grandparents for safety reasons. That brings up another stressor in our lives is, you know, some of us are going to do those things, but some of us are not. If you're on social media, like a lot of us, you know, people are going and seeing their families. They're going out and doing things, but then I'm, I'm over here telling my kids, we, well, we can't go and see grandma and grandpa because of COVID. And we want to protect them. The toolkit also includes a video from local kids explaining what COVID is and how children can help stop the spread of it. Well, the health department says kids between the ages of 5 and 17 have accounted for 7% of new COVID-19 cases in the last two weeks in Greene County. Now it says while these numbers are encouraging, we all must remain vigilant in the fight against the virus. Starting off this morning with temperatures in the 40s, looking pretty dark out there. Oh, that's close to where I live, actually. It's cold this morning. You are going to need your jacket. We are tracking what is currently Tropical Storm Beta in the Gulf of Mexico. This is going to bring us some rain chances, which is some good news tomorrow and for Wednesday. I'll have that and your seven-day forecast right after the break. From Color 10 Ozarks First, Jennifer Abreu, Joe Morano, and weather with meteorologist Alisa Rafa. This is Color 10 News Daybreak.